Hi guys, it's Nicole Kane. Hi, it's Sheridan Chanel. And it's Amber Woods. Welcome to the Happy Hour Podcast. I'm excited because we're here at Parlor Bar in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I have not gotten out all year. So I thought we should move this happy hour to like a dope location. Yeah. So thanks for the recommendation, Amber. Yay, it's my favorite spot. (laughs) I love it here. (laughs) And we're here with a special guest. Kendrick Krause. Yes. <laughs> He's Woo! one of the stars of Own's new show, Ambitions. He plays Titus Hughes. Yeah. I was telling him downstairs, I'm a former blogger. I can find whatever on anyone. But he doesn't have a lot of information online about him, like anything. So why is that? <laughs> was, just, what's up with I'm that? I'm just private. I'm just, I'm proud. I don't put it all out there. You know, I, I'm not the type that walk around with the phone and talk to it. You know, and, and it's nothing wrong with that if people do that. <laughs> But it's just not me. No, you're mm-hmm. old school, too. I, I think, you know, we're in this generation now where, like, everything is online. Oh, yeah. Like, if I meet someone out on the street, he'll probably look up my Instagram. Right. Then he'll start scrolling and reading captions. And mm-hmm. by the first date, he thinks he knows me already. I, w- I will look at someone's Instagram, but I don't, I don't get into reading all of that. You know, I just look at the pictures, see what you got going on, see how wild you are. Ooh. <laughs> Is that something to <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. peel into that? Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Something like, that you look for? A more wild or no, more no, no. tame? Not oh, all. okay. A little bit of both, you know? Oh, I, I yes. Like a, I like a mix. Balance. Yeah. 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 <laughs> look, look, I'm already the quiet one. I don't need, we don't need two of us. Okay. Success okay. yes. today. Hello. Yes. Oh, cheers. Yes. Cheers. Yes. 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 It sure. is happy clink, hours. Clink, Hello. Right. Oh, well, should we cheers to something? Clink, clink. Wait, I can't. Uh, a cherry to <laughs> Oh, cheers. We need a cherry. You're you're popping our cherry today. This is our Ooh. first filming. Okay. okay. <laughs> pop pop. pop. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. So uh Kenny is a vegan. Mm-hmm. What made you get into the vegan lifestyle? One day I was eating chicken. Oh Lord. Oh, he and did this face. The skin though. and the veins. So it just I was like, oh man, I'm eating something that was once alive. And I don't have the right to do that. Oh, okay. You know that they they, have, they they think and breathe and protect their kids or whatever, just like we do. So, uh, it, it's mine was like next day. Mm-hmm. Wow! So it was vegetarian for a while, a pescatarian rather. I was still eating fish, mm-hmm. but even just seeing it, especially mm-hmm. they served it to me one time with the head on it, and I just couldn't eat it. And so I started doing my research and found out that as Africans, back in the day, we were mostly vegetarians. But through the globalization and colonization of them people, mm-hmm. and slavery, they forced meat on us. Now we got diabetes. We got high blood pressure because our bodies oh. aren't meant to eat that crap. Okay. Sorry, y'all. If you better call, no, you better call. Right. Just okay. go ahead. Go, go ahead. With this. Like, just <laughs> just give it to I've never heard it broken down. Yeah. Like. Oh, yeah. So mine is more so the life of the animal versus uh, healthy. But I, I have found that it, you know, I got more energy, da, 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 skin. Eyes, yeah, nose, okay. <laughs> it is popping. It is popping. So, how many years ago was that that you did that? So, it's been five years vegan, mm-hmm. and then two years was pescatarian. Oh, okay. So, it's like a seven year, like total, right? Wow, okay. So, if you had like a young lady coming over, I'm sorry to switch gears a little bit, mm-hmm. but what's something you would prepare for her? Oh, that's a good question. As mm-hmm. far as food, right? Yes, um, I don't know. I, I like doing uh, like these stir fries. Mm-hmm. With uh, chickpeas and quinoa. And, oh, nice. That's you know, good. And, and a, lot of, <laughs> a lot of veggies. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's just a real cool um, and, and something unique. And I'm like, oh, this this is pretty good. I can yeah. do this. You know? um, it's simple. Mm-hmm. It's simple. Or, you know, we just order out. <laughs> so is your partner being vegan, is that a deal breaker? Is it okay if they're not? No, because I understand. Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand. I, I prefer if they're open. To, to, to not doing it. And, it's a commitment. And, right. I mean, it is. I mean, you've been, some people have been eating meat for 30 years, mm-hmm. so I, can't, I don't expect them to just stop mm-hmm. unless they have the same mentality and consciousness that I have. But um, no, no. Do I, vegans taste better? I think so. Ooh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hey. I've never okay. tasted myself, but yeah. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I think they do. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me sip on that one. Eh? Yes, I'll sip too. Mm. Well, we have a little game for you, and it's called mm-hmm. a first date with. Uh, <laughs> don't be, I'm don't worry. Excited. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be happy hour fun. Mm. It's okay. I'm sipping. 
So this was inspired by, we had a um, couple on the show. Mm-hmm. And they met in a Uber pool. Oh, wow. Um, and and they're, they're married now and expecting. Um, but we, we figure an Uber pool ride, 10 minutes, mm-hmm. maybe 20 or 30, depending on where you're going. Real so quick. I, I feel like you can get to know someone in about a 10 minute, 15 minute time. So we're going to set the timer. And we're going to take turns asking questions until the 10 minutes is up okay. to see, you know, what you're like and if you'd be worthy of a second date. Okay. what is the biggest trauma that you've had to overcome in your life and how did you go about doing that so there's been a couple of you know death is always uh one of them my father passed like two years ago and when that happened i suddenly realized that wow i'm a man now Mm -hmm. even though i've been a man for years but He's gone, so now I have to be where he was. Mm-hmm. Um, also financially, you know, during this, during this process, and I'm not afraid of working by any means. At some points I've had three. I have my own business. I've worked a full-time job at Blue Cross. But when the housing crisis and all that hit, I almost lost my house. Mm-hmm. My business folded immediately. And, you know, for a while I wasn't paying the mortgage. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. So that was super tough. To overcome that luckily acting gigs kind of helped me but there were some points like I was like how am I gonna eat tomorrow you know but inside of me it's weird I'm never worried even though I'm worried doesn't that I, I don't know if that makes sense it makes perfect sense. like you know even living here mm-hmm. before I booked ambitions it started getting tough again mm-hmm. but I was like I'll drive Uber I'll do whatever I need to and I was driving for Uber for a while it may you know I'm a little paranoid but <laughs> uh, just, just sitting right behind especially you. in Atlanta <laughs> right right um luckily I didn't have to do it long but I'm not afraid to to get out and do what I got to do to support my art mm. I love that thank you okay what is your mornings like like uh how do you start your day uh so right now I go to the gym six in the morning so um I wake up I have a uh, a routine where I drink like two cups of water straight out of bed, and and then I, you know, get my get my clothes on, walk my dog, and uh, take my little protein uh, pre workout stuff, and I head to the gym and just get it in. You know? And that's a, it's a release for me. I, love, I enjoy working out. But we we all should. Yes, yes. Well, we we do. Uh, if you had a woman, what would your mornings be like? Hopefully, it would be the same. Um, you know, maybe. A, Sometimes we do other workouts in the morning. Oh, yes. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Yes, stretch uh, but, me. But, My favorite time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but hopefully, yeah, it's, it's, it's along that same level. It's just doing things we like to do together or, or, or separate sometimes. You know, I've mm-hmm. had friends um, over and they don't want to get up. And it's cool. I'll go and I'll be back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I still got to get this routine in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. What is your sign? Taurus. Oh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. See, I don't get into signs. What does that mean? I mean, I get the I get the whole <laughs> private and like the very like serious about business and money. And um, are you a homebody? Yes, that's a Taurus. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Mm-hmm. I like Taurus. Do you think it's hard to date as an actor? And I say this because it's not consistency. Right. You know, you never know what show you're going to be booked for. Right. What income you're going to have the next year. Right. Yes, but just be honest about it. I'm not afraid to say, you know, it's not a good week. I don't, I don't, I don't want to put on, it just bothers me when jokers <laughs> put on, they rent cars, they, you know, you got the Gucci belt, you know, I, I got to have this. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice bag. Flexitarians. Flexitarians. Flexitarians, I like that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> 20, you want a $2,500 bag, but you mm-hmm. got 1050 in the bank, you know? Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. That's putting on. Hell right. right. Hello. Priorities. So I want to hear, like, what are your, like, foundational things that are important to you and a partner? Like, what is it that Hendrick must have? Well, honesty. Mm-hmm. Be in shape. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I know everyone's not there, but willing to get there. Mm-hmm. Like, come come with me. Let's go get it. Yes. Let's eat right. Let's mm-hmm. be healthy. Yes. Um, and just have my back mm-hmm. in what I decide I want to do. Mm-hmm. Instead of like, no, you shouldn't do that because I need 
Mm. Oh, okay. Um, you know, just just have my back. Let's get it together. Versus, eh. right. Mm. So, a go getter. Right. Mm. Do you feel like you have a a clock internally that's ticking? I was wondering if men feel that. Because um, I know women feel like, oh. For marriage or kids or like marriage, or anything, kids, anything. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah. Family. No. Family. Okay. No. None of the above. I, I think if it's going to, if it, it'll happen, if it's supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. Continue living mm-hmm. each day yes. mm-hmm. as best you can. All that other stuff will happen. That's where the worry comes in. I got friends. Oh, my gosh. They're so worried about that. Mm-hmm. Getting married. That you could see it on them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. The desperation. Yeah. Like, yeah. live. I Let's go yeah. hiking tomorrow. Like, <laughs> Let's yeah. go hiking. It's okay. Yeah. Like, it'll right. be okay. And it'll happen when it's supposed to. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't feel that. Like, I, I want kids. I don't have them yet. But I'm not. It's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've always just had a fear of, like, settling. That's it. Like, I'd rather. That is a tough one. <laughs> That's why you know, live in a single them yeah. until I, you know, right. enjoy life, enjoy what I like doing Jeez. until. Right. I like that, that perfect match comes along. I like so that. we didn't reveal whether he would be worthy of a second date mm-hmm. from our. Uh, <laughs> was that was that the determining factor? Oh, yeah. yeah. The question I mean, good. I still have more to go. <laughs> I was like cats versus dogs. Right. Tacos or pizza. Like, what do we like? <laughs> I love that, though. <laughs> right. Teach okay, me. y'all. <laughs> oh, are we deciding now? Are we yeah, the, yeah. Oh. Go, you go ahead. I mean, I mean, yeah, I would definitely... Um, Go on another date, just, dig a little deeper. You're you just know, you just saying that. I mean, I, listen, this look, tour is coming what, out. You hear this court tour look, is coming have y'all out? Ever told people that you wouldn't go on another date right here in front of their face. I will. What do you think, Sheridan? <clears throat> well, I like to get as naked as possible with someone emotionally when I first meet them, mm-hmm. and then that lets me decide what I would like to do with you when it comes to building or whether it be oh we're being in a partnership or we're just chilling, you right. know, or we're just sexual partners, right? But to that, I say, I'm interested. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep drinking, though. <laughs> I know Teal's giving me the wrap up. Well, we need to know, I mean, would you like to go on a mm-hmm. second date? Would I go I on a second cool date one. with Kendrick? Yes, I don't know. It, it would depend on what the last five minutes of the date was like. Mm-hmm. You going to walk me to my door? Yeah, absolutely. You gonna, okay. Yeah. And then what's going to happen? Um, oh, God. <laughs> where is this going no, I don't know. No, I'm trying to figure Why out you like, I think if we have that energy we both know it yeah. something else will probably happen mm-hmm. <laughs> right but yes. I mean but it could go down it's felt I'm always <laughs> I'm always uh, a gentleman first so I probably would hug you hey it was cool da 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 okay night. Hope, hopefully I'll see you again type deal okay. as opposed to yo can I come in yeah yo, I don't ask that no. like, well I mean I know I know it happens yeah. I know it, I know it happens but, but I think it's like you said you have to follow that energy though because yeah. you know some people be stepping putting the cart before the horse yeah. child right. uh-uh. they do I'm not that but I asking that can... is the is the worst like right. that's the nail on the coffin right I usually can tell if it's going there by how the person keeps touching me Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Are you leading me. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. okay. I think I think something yeah. else might happen, but okay. ultimately, if I like you and we're cool, it's it's boom, call boom, you. Boom. Okay. Right. Yeah. You you would get a second date right. oh, because yeah. you because you you hit me with the hug, then I would be like, now you now I'm like you coming in. Yeah. No, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's happened to me before too like i had a great date with a guy and then he walked me to like the door and then this is it yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but it made me very right, in- yeah extra, but know, it gave me nudging. yeah it made yeah, me even do. more interested and I, I respected the fact that he didn't Nothing try and mm-hmm. so yes mm-hmm. second date you get a second date Yay. You get a second date. You get a second date. You get a second date. Ah, <laughs> this happy hour was successful. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that was amazing. I was lying.